Welcome back. President Biden's first trip to Asia may be wrapping up, but it has not been without controversy. The administration attempting to walk back comments the commander in chief made on in on Taiwan yesterday, where he said the U.S. would respond with military forces if China invaded the region. Yahoo Finance's Rick Newman joins us in with more takes from the president's trip. Rick, great to see you hey here guys. in the studio. It is bright. <laughs> it is that's, very bright. It's a big takeaway. It's much brighter up. than my home office. Yes. Yeah. It, it wakes you up. So, you know, we it, it's so fascinating to me because Joe Biden has been known for decades as being gaff prone. Was this a gaff, though, or what what was this? I mean, sometimes when you t when you tell the truth, that's considered a gaff in politics. And I think what Biden did is he just told the truth. Uh, he didn't. This was not a preformulated statement. This was an answer to a question. A reporter asked. Uh, if China makes some kind of move on Taiwan, will the United States defend it militarily? And he, and he just said yes. Uh, and he did put it in the context of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Um, so was that a mistake or not? Um, I don't know. Uh, you know, I think this maybe is a bigger deal at the White House where they immediately, you know, tried to clarify this is not a change in U.S. policy. The U.S. policy toward Taiwan is strategic ambiguity. So you could argue that we still have ambiguity because right. Biden says one thing and his aides kind of try to change the, change the story a little bit. So maybe we still have strategic ambiguity. Does it shift anything fundamentally with the relationship with China? I, I guess it depends how the Chinese react. I mean, they did issue a, you know, a strongly worded statement. Um, will that change anything? I think what's changing the dy dynamic with China more is some of the other things Biden was doing in Asia. I mean, what Biden is trying to do is build up uh, an economic alliance and a, sort of what you might call uh, security alliances mm -hmm. to box China in a little bit over there, uh, which is one of the things we saw out of this trip. Now, everybody might remember the Trans-Pacific Partnership, the TPP, which President Obama uh, negotiated, and then, of course, that Trump killed that. Um, that was a trade block that probably would have been good for the United States on that. That trade block still exists without the United States. Right. So um, this week, the Biden administration said they're looking into something new called the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework. I guess that would be the um, IPEF. IPEF? Is this, are we going to have a new acronym here for TPP? I like it, IPEF. Yeah. So this is like TPP light, but it, but it doesn't have a lot of the open market provisions mm -hmm. that labor unions would probably uh, oppose. So I'm not sure that's going anywhere.